someone would ask me what's my biggest fear, it would be entering a highway with lots of trucks. I don't want to die yet. I think for tomorrow in Himeji, because um, it's going to be sold out if I don't book in advance. I just completed a breathtaking Shimanami Kaido cycling route and have now arrived in Honshu, Japan's mainland. The contrast is striking, the roads here are bustling and filled with cars. Initially, I planned to cycle into the night to cover more distance, but the heavy traffic is making that quite challenging. Transitioning from the tranquil scenic paths of the Shimanami Kaido to the hectic urban road is definitely an adjustment. I'm so tired. Thankfully, um, I found this accommodation randomly. I just cycled 50 kilometers today and it's the temperature suddenly dropped. I'm so tired. Thankfully, um, I found this accommodation randomly. 50 kilometers today and it's the temperature suddenly dropped. And to make it to Kobe, to tomorrow, I need to cycle as early as much as possible so I can make it. <sighs> I'm so tired. Sleep. Good thing I found a place to stay for a night here. Arigatou gozaimasu! Arigatou gozaimasu! <laughs> yeah, it's another day of adventure. Um, right now it's just gonna be all urban, so there's nothing much exciting. But I wanna take a train, but I cannot take. I have so many luggage. I have to pedal for three days. And yeah, let's just enjoy the ride. It's cold right now. Huh. So I'm just gonna enjoy the company of my own. I'm still 160 kilometers away to Kobe. Although it's all flat, but it's not fun without views and sceneries. But yeah, I'll just enjoy it. Actually, I'm not yet tired, but I decided to just stop here for a while and stay for a night here at Aikatsu Club to experience it. So I made a separate video about this, so feel free to check it out. I started my day and everything is so busy here, so many trucks, and they took me to route number two, which is like the main highway. So Kumut took me to National Highway Route 2, I don't know if I'm allowed to so much guys. I just found out this is like um, the national highway here in Japan, so I don't know. But yeah, Komut says I should go there. <laughs> Komut took me to National Route 2 and there's only like Two minutes heart mini heart attack and then there's a bike lane down here. It's really foggy right now. Look at the scenic view right now, it's very serene. I love that there's a fog right now, it feels like it's a different vibe. And yeah, I like the quick detour, like surprisingly even a while ago, I'm so stressed. You can experience this beautiful and peaceful side of Japan if you go outside the highway. You just have to learn how to navigate. Now ahead of you, prepare to turn right. Thank you. 
Good thing Kumut is getting me away from the cars and leading me to quieter routes near the railroad. However, sometimes the turning points can be a bit time consuming with all the twists and turns. I arrived in Yoko Prefecture, reaching the charming town of Ak. As I cycled uphill through the town, the road became a challenging mix of steep inclines and bustling traffic. There were so many vehicles on the road, but thankfully the Japanese drivers were incredibly courteous. Each time they saw me struggling up the hill, they slowed down and gave me plenty of space. Their consideration made the climb much more manageable and allowed me to appreciate <laughs> the scenery. mountains. Now, if you can see that, including the Japanese are really kind, considerate to cyclists, so they stop a lot, like slow down whenever they see. Despite the heavy traffic, the blend of urban and natural landscape made more unforgettable cycling experience. to just stop there and I cannot make it to Kobe because it's still 70 kilometers away yeah we're not that strong And yeah, I decided to just stay here. Oh my gosh, it's only 83 kilometers, but I'm so tired. Like, it's been non stop four days. And yeah, I wanna rest, but I only have six days left here in Japan, so I wanna make the most out of it. Heading to Hemiji Castle, it will open at 9 a.m. So I'm just gonna see why this place is so special, like one of the most visited castles here in Japan. So we're gonna find out. Oh, that's the castle, it's so near. I should have just walked. <laughs> it's just in there, like 700 kilometers, 700 meters away from my accommodation. So, yeah, let's see. So this is the city of Hemiji. It's quite quiet right now. Okay, so we have a lot of people here. How many years have you been here in Japan? 15. Wow! 10 years! Oh my gosh, I'm in the Philippine flag! I can't see it! I'm so proud! I don't know! Yeah, I just dropped by Himeji Castle. This is one of the most visited castles here in Japan and also UNESCO World Heritage and we're gonna find out why. I only have 30 minutes to explore. I don't know if I still go. So as you can see, um, they really preserve the Japanese architecture here. Here they have a zoo here. And the tourists are in there. What? Well, not tourists. Um, you can enter here for 1,000 yen. Unfortunately, I don't have time anymore, so I need to go back because I'm gonna cycle to Kobe. So bye. You left the tour. Automatic replanning is turned off. Take a look at the map. The tour is 60 meters behind you. Well, <laughs> Almost there! 
I found myself lost when I'm on the way from Himeji going to Kobe. As I tried to navigate the way it was, I wasn't sure if the route was even suitable for bicycle. Where after an hour of confusion and backtracking, I realized Google Maps had led me to a set of stairs. You were back on the tour. Carrying my fully loaded bike down those steps was out of the question. So I took a detour hoping for a better path. This detour brought me to a highway and for a moment, panic set in. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. This? Is this? brought me to a highway and for a moment panic set in. I wasn't sure if cycling on this road was allowed or safe. The next 10 minutes felt like a mini heart attack as cars zoomed past me, the noise and speed making my head spin. I kept pedaling trying to stay as close to the edge as possible. And eventually, the traffic thinned out and my nerves began to calm. The road from Himeji to Kobe has been the most complicated part of my journey. Filled with narrow section, barely wide enough for my bike with its pannier. Each tight squeeze was a test of my balance and nerves. Despite these challenges, I managed to push through, finding my rhythm again as I moved closer to my next destination. Kobe. So I stayed here in Kobe for a day even though I can make it to Osaka so I can finally do ski adventure here. I'm gonna make a separate video about that. It's over the winter season but it's not yet. Oh. So they put some artificial snow here and this is my bucket list before the year ends. I decided to cycle next to Osaka so everything is smooth going to Osaka it's not complicated and some parts have exclusive bicycle lanes so it wasn't complicated going there very wide. It's very bicycle friendly compared to the previous bike lanes. So yeah. Finally Osaka after so many days I finally did it. <laughs> no I'm almost there but I know I can make it. Total of 760 kilometers. Yeah. And yeah, I made it to Osaka. I met my host there. Nice range for bicycle tourers. But no. Um, some are like new. They have something like that. Um, they have barricades. Um, it's really hard to enter with panniers. But yeah. I'm almost there. 900 meters away. Because I'm going to meet a... Uh, Filipino that I'm gonna sleep there at their house so yeah we are a total of 760 kilometers Hi. <laughs> Meet, meet <Zara. laughs> mm. <laughs> sabi mo sa video? Ayun nga, dati sabi ko si Zar, sa video, 9 months ago Nine, nine months ago, siya sabi ko sa video ko na Cesar, ito na kukilala niyo Cesar Tinutur niya yung Pilipinas, ngayon nasa Mindanao na siya Tapos sumunod na video ko, yes. ibang video naman yon Tapos layo sa, sa caption, Zar, after 
after two years kumabasa mo man to yes. PM mo ko right tayo ah! pero wala pang two years nine months pa lang ako nakalipas ako yung nag-bestie siya yun diba sabi ko unang una oh. mampangain ano kayo tayo matagal na yun ma'am zar siyempre yes. <laughs> sa sobrang dami na siguro oh. nag-message sa'yo hindi mo na siguro mm-hmm. mapansin yun kung ano yung ini-aim mo mga al- alam ng universe yung nasa isip mo eh oh. possible talaga siya na mangyari yes Tsaka, kaya kayo dito, mag-comment lang kayo mali nyo pupunta ako dyan <laughs> Hindi nangyari sa Pinas eh, dito nangyari sa mm. sa Japan. So, wow. para sa akin, para oppor- opportunity din rin. Opportunity na ba kaya si for three nights. Yeah, thank you so much. Hindi hindi ampun tawag doon. Ano? Ah, uh, tawag doon. Pagtanggap bilang siklista. Yes, pagtanggap tapos tinulungan pa niya ako ng mga. <laughs> Kasi yun yung purpose ko. Oh. Yun talaga parang parang will nan lord na mm-hmm. pagtagpuin siguro tayo wow. kasi may four Paano nga napunta dito sa Japan? Eh, siyempre kahirap. Di mo kahirapan, kubaga <laughs> by chance opportunity. Uh-huh. So, siyempre yung pero depende pa rin sa tao uh-huh. talaga. So anong ginagawa mo para Nag- Dala sa nagbabike ako. Mm-hmm. Lalo pag deo. So, ano? Yes. Pero na akong certain na hindi ba ng mga tao. Mm, kahit dito kanya kanya dito. Yun nga daw eh. Parang hindi ko alam kung sabihin ko. Parang meron. May, may, may ano talaga. Meron silang mirror sa okay, harap. Okay yung mga meron, Japanese mga... Merong wall. Hindi ko sabihin ko ito ba? May wall Oo. sa mukha nila lang yan. Kasi ako eh, opposite ako ng mga tao dito. Yung malinis, tiyara. Tapos, madisiplina. So, dito sa Japan, kailangan mong sumunod sa mga rules. Very... Yung titigil talaga sila sa daan. Tumitigil sa daan. I traveled from Osaka to Kyoto and decided to just take a train. I availed a 3 day unlimited Kansai Pass through Kluk. You can use my code Zarlim for a discount. It helped me save money and travel without cash. Um, I go to limousine. I need to book advance. No, no, no. You cannot make reservations. This um okay with train? Train airport? So it's my first time to arrive here in Osaka. So much crowd. I don't like going to crowded places when you're alone. But yeah, we're gonna try some food today. This is me traveling to a country with no idea what's around me. Unable to read the language in a place with a completely different culture where I live. I read this before, that once you can navigate on your own and book a flight by yourself, it simply means you can do anything. When you're solo traveling, you become the decision maker. Our brain functions more intensely when we're outside of our comfort zone and in a familiar place. Curiosity about our surroundings drive us to find answers to our questions and solutions to our problems. Oh my gosh, touchdown Kyoto! Our first stop is Fujiminari. Yeah, you are surrounded by forests here. And yeah, it's kind of like a pilgrimage. I don't have much time anymore. I, I wish I was here for three days, but yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow to fly. And they have this long... Um, pilgrimage temple. We have so many food stalls here where you can eat food um, to try and I'm just nearby 300 meters away from the station. Yeah, and I didn't bring money so I'm just gonna head back. <laughs> what a girl. I think one of the lessons that I learned here is that you have to believe in the power of possibility. When you're traveling, your mind should be peaceful so you can meditate even while you're on a train. But as someone like me, um, traveling solo, uh, I need to research a lot. So I didn't research. So when I just, I'm just on the train, that's when I'm researching. So right now I'm going to a temple. So it's just randomly I search because 
Yeah, when you're traveling for non-stop, you have no more time to research, but don't be like me. <laughs> yeah, so everything is accessible here. Uh, I'm just gonna take a bus after a train. So thankfully we have a limited pass, so it's not gonna be hard to buy it. So here's how it happened. Oops. Like this. And I'm gonna find a bus station. Oh, so cute. Anything is possible. You just don't know when it will happen. This belief is a powerful motivator that encourages you to stay open, prepared, and persistent. So I wasted my three hours commuting and I didn't see much today. And I, it's a case because uh, I just need to go back. Yeah. Here's the I haven't explored much. <laughs> One day, half day is not enough here. You need at least four days to enjoy this. Yeah, and it's my flight tomorrow. I need to go now because I'm gonna set all my bicycle. And yeah, I miss the hike. Because <laughs> it's already getting dark at 4.30 and I didn't know that we have entrance fee and I forgot my wallet. When I entered here, it's already closed, so I miss everything. Yeah, it's a story. This ends my Japan adventure and see you in Taiwan. <laughs> Remember, Bye. the journey itself is full of possibilities and every moment holds the potential for greatness. All you have to do is trust the journey, embrace the uncertainty, and have faith that your moment will come. moment has finally yeah. come. So good to be here in real life, like after five years of dreaming to be in Japan, I'm finally here. This ends my Japan series and I'm now moving to my next country. See you in my next adventure. Bye! I'm currently at the airport right now. I slept here yesterday because I have to spend another day because of my bicycle that they don't they didn't allow me to fly yesterday yeah finally i'm already here and i'm about to board in five minutes so i'm gonna see you in my next country bye